Hello, hello. You would like it to meet the father of everything. Conflict. Conflict has been around since the dawn of the human race. Its very purpose has been the discussion of philosophers, gods, some people during a conflict, and some people around the table. To this day, no one knows why we do it. Conflict has basically created the very way we experience life today, and considering the situation of the world this year, we might as well be digging out bunkers. But don't worry, we are here to give you another version to this reality. There is another side to conflict which is peace. Now, peace is conflict's very passive aggressive act with a much different job. Peace has been responsible for, well, nothing great really except stuff we just enjoy in our everyday lives. Conflict and peace today are being as flirty as they have ever been. The USSR fell, the UN is being disrespected, we finally have electric cars, ships to space, or both, if you can afford it. Although we also have these guys. So the circle of conflict and peace seems ever endless, and that can suck. There's this idea that human resource departments in companies and political analysts throw around, which is conflict management and resolution. But conflicts basically stem from our differences. We all have hot buttons, do we not? Most of all, especially when it comes to a group of people or countries, there are a lot of hot buttons. Conflict starts with those nice, spicy buttons and it gets ugly. And that can be quite depressing and dark to see. But fear not, for the connoisseurs of conflict will present you with the holy grail of conflict management. No, not this, this. Conflict management means that we have had enough of this, please stop, it hurts us all. And that is called willingness. Which means one or both parties are willing to talk. But it can also be like, we have left each other for long, it's getting nowhere, I want to eat a burrito. And that can be summarized as a deadlock. But here comes the child of conflict and peace, our most often overlooked resolution. Resolution is basically the function of assertiveness in relationship, and depending on how much you hurt each other, how much you loved or hate each other, you have five different ways of resolution. Some choose to compete for the post-conflict results, which depend on how assertive the one part is compared to another relationship. Or if you both fought each other for the same extent, you can compromise or collaborate. Or if you would rather do something else, like play chess on the park or on the map, you either avoid or accommodate the conflict. Although be careful not to start a new one, that tends to happen. And now comes post-conflict. Depending on how the conflict goes, how well its resolution goes, you have three scenarios. Win-win, win-lose, or in the case of 2020's Wheel of Misfortune, lose-lose. Unless you have a ton of money. As you can see, so much conflict for just some peace. If the aliens ever decided to look at the stars for us, they would probably find some hairless, featherless, slightly aggressive, warmongering, suicidal nuclear apes who love making tasteless jokes and good music. And all of those are a byproduct of conflict. Humankind is holding out against the relentless conflict it creates. Which is pretty ironic, because we still create hope and love. Keep hoping, humankind. It is high time for a better future.